say hi for me. Can you say hi? Hey guys, Avery is doing her one hour helmet break right now and she and I are just kind of chilling on the couch, huh? She doesn't usually like to sit and so she won't last like this for long. The boys are actually in Anthony's <coughs> office with Anthony right now and they're playing Minecraft. <coughs> oh, she's already grumpy. <laughs> um, so they're having fun. I am vlogging because today we are, well actually tonight, <laughs> we are kicking off the holiday festivities. So you'll have to excuse the noise in the background. We're watching college football while we just kind of hang around out at home. But tonight we are doing our yearly tradition of going to see the lights at the zoo. In the past, we usually do this tradition in December because Christmas lights you would think is a December thing um, but starting last year and they're doing it again this year we are able to go to the zoo early before they have even started um, and opened it up to regular guests and um, Anthony's um, company has rented out the entire zoo just for um, associates that work at his company they did this um, for the first time last year and we took the boys to it and absolutely loved it. Um, basically, you kind of get the whole zoo to yourselves. I mean, they invite everybody from the company and his company is kind of big, but obviously not everybody from the company goes. And so it feels quite dead. <laughs> At least last year when we went, it felt quite dead. It was a lot colder last year, I will say that. Also, in addition to that, all of the rides at the zoo are free. They're just included. Um, in your admission and so the train you can do it as many times as you want it's free the carousel again free um and then they have like a little um 4d rudolph theater maybe we'll do that tonight but that's free as well also admission is free um it's just included it's like a gift from anthony's work for all the employees so we went last year like i said and we absolutely loved it the boys loved riding the rides for free we didn't have to wait in long lines to get on the rides um could just walk around the zoo didn't feel claustrophobic or overly packed or anything like that so we loved it last year and then um you get uh food and drink vouchers as well for free so they give you like you can either pick like free hot chocolate or like a free like juice kind of drink and then they also have snacks that you can pick from and it's like trail mix or cookies or popcorn or just like a ton of different things to pick from so that's a really really nice event um i think last year they even gave us like 3d um glasses to wear around to like see hidden things around the zoo so it was amazing last year we went twice to lights at the zoo we did Anthony's company's event and then we also went one random Saturday with my siblings and you guys you go back and watch my vlog if you're curious it was horrible it was the most busy I've ever seen the zoo ever and I've been going to the Columbus Zoo for years and years and years now we had to end up parking in a parking lot I had I didn't even know existed because it was so far back from the zoo entrance and all of the lines to get on the rides were like over a half hour wait and um, it was packed with people it was horrible it took us an hour to even get from our house to the zoo because it was so backed up when normally it takes us about 15 minutes so after we did that compared to the the emptiness of going with Anthony's company, we decided last year that we will not be doing that again. <laughs> we will only go um, with Anthony's company from now on because it's such a difference and so much nicer. So we are going once this season and that is tonight and the kids are really excited. So we're going to go in a, about an hour and a half. It starts at 5.30. Obviously it needs to get a little dark out. It's about four now. So I'm going to feed the kids before we go. My sister and her boyfriend are going to come with us. So that'll be fun. They want to kind of hang out with the kids and my sister loves Christmas. 
so um, they're looking forward to it as well and we'll just go for like mm, an hour and a half maybe two hours tops because the kids never last that long it's gonna be cold because the sun's gonna be down and it's win like almost winter and you know they just want to ride a couple rides see the lights and then they'll be good so we're gonna go and have a good time this is avery's first time going to the lights at the zoo i don't think she's gonna be very impressed but maybe she'll like looking at the lights are you excited to go see the lights at the zoo what do you think about that her hair is always so sticky uppy and crazy when i take the helmet off huh it's getting long on the sides and a little bit on top, but mostly it's on the sides. You can see it just kind of like poking out. It's like almost could do pigtails maybe. <laughs> what do you think about that? So yeah, I plan on vlogging um, a little bit here and there of the event. It's kind of the same thing every year, so I don't want to bore you guys too much. But the kids are so looking forward to the rides and the lights and Christmas. Um, this is like our first Christmas activity. I haven't put up Christmas decorations. I'm still in fall mode. We're actually hosting Thanksgiving twice this year, once for my family and once for Anthony's family. So I kind of feel like I want to get through Thanksgiving first and then decorate for Christmas. Plus, decorating for Christmas, it's a lot on me. I'm usually the one that does all of it because I'm the one that cares the most. Anthony doesn't really care for holiday decorations. So it's a lot on me and... Honestly, I, I have quite a bit of holiday direct decorations and it after a while it just makes my house feel very cluttered <laughs> and um, I'm kind of over it after I put it up. So I'm trying to stave that feeling off as much as I can and usually I kind of wait until like the weekend after Thanksgiving to decorate. So I'll probably do that, put up our tree. We do a fake tree. We did one year of a real tree and decided that was not for us. So <laughs> we are fake tree people, which is funny because I grew up having a real tree every year, but how times have changed. Yeah, so we haven't decorated or anything like that. We haven't really listened to Christmas music, haven't been watching Christmas shows or Christmas movies. So this is gonna be our first like intro to Christmas for the season I guess and I know the kids are just gonna absolutely love it I'm honestly surprised we haven't been they haven't but the kids haven't been blasting holiday music more than what they have because they're usually super into that but I'm not so big into Christmas it's really not my favorite it used to be when I was growing up and then I think as an adult it just kind of changed for me so I'm fine with keeping fall a little longer and all my fall decorations and um just kind of gearing up for Thanksgiving, which Thanksgiving is happening fast, you guys. Oh my gosh. Like a week from tomorrow, we're hosting Thanksgiving for Anthony's family. And then less than two weeks is actually Thanksgiving. So it's coming up fast. So I'm excited for all the Thanksgiving food, but what I'm most, most, most excited about that's better than Christmas is Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. I'm so, so excited to go shopping. That's like my Christmas. I could... I could do without Christmas and just do Black Friday and be happy. Um, so I'm excited for that. And maybe I'll vlog a little bit of that. I don't know if I'll do that or not. But anyway, I'm just blabbing because I'm just trying to waste time until we go to the lights at the zoo. I always dread doing lights at the zoo because it's cold and I hate being cold. But I'm always happy that we go afterwards. So it'll be a good time and we're doing it for the kids. And I know the kids will love it this oh my gosh anthony and i have been together 12 years now 13 years 13 years this year and this will be our 13th year in a row of going to the lights at the zoo we started the first year we started dating and we've not missed a single year we've gone every single year so this is our 13th yeah we used to go before we even had kids just for fun him and i and then we had kids and haven't stopped. I was trying to like think, yeah, I think we've been every single year for 13 years in a row. So this is like a legit tradition for us, even though it's like, I kind of grumble about going, but have to keep up the tradition, right? So we are gonna go and celebrate and I will take you along with us. <laughs> Like her wide eyes, like what is going on? 
having a dance party this morning. It's actually the next day. I took a couple clips of us going to the zoo. So I'm sure you guys already saw those. We had so much fun. What do you think? Did you like your first lights at the zoo? Did you? Did you like your lights at the zoo? Was that so fun? Avery's just bouncing in her bouncer this morning. She's probably gonna be ready to go down for a nap soon, huh? It was a really fun time. Um, my sister and her boyfriend, Nathan, ended up coming like last minute with us. So we had some help with the kids, which is always nice. We got to test out my new Wonderfold wagon. <clears throat> we recently bought that. They were having like a Black Friday sale. So we went and bought one because we desperately need to upgrade our wagon. We have a radio flyer one that we've had for years. Um, I like the Wonderful. It's nice. It's huge and it weighs like 58 pounds. So it's really hard to get in and out of the car. So still trying to decide if I like it or not. But we went to the zoo. It was fun. It was definitely busier this year than last year. And I don't know if that's because the weather was better or maybe like they opened it up to more associates within the company. I don't know. It was definitely more busier, but not as busy as like a regular like Saturday night would have been during the regular um, season. So it was fun. We got like free um, drinks and free snacks, which the kids love. We got tons of like they had puppy chow and they had they even had like pretzels with cheese and hot dogs which those were new this year um and then they had cookies and chips and all just all kinds of things so we got all of that we saw some lights of course we had to do the ride so we did the carousel and the train they were free thank goodness kids loved it we did have to wait a bit for the rides though like last year we just walked right onto them so that was a little different um, but all in all, it was super fun. It definitely got colder as the night went on. By like when it started, it was like maybe in the high 40s. So it wasn't too bad. And then by the time we left, it was like mid 30s and we could see our breath as we were breathing. Like that's how cold it got. Sorry, the kids are being kind of crazy. So you can hear them in the background. So it definitely got cold. We stayed, we got there a little bit before six and then we left at about eight. So we, two hours, that's about how long I thought it would be. But it was really fun. It was like a free event. So super easy for us to do and go to. The zoo's like 15 minutes from our house. So not a big commitment at all from us. And yeah, check that off our list. It was kind of fun hearing Christmas songs because we really haven't been listening to any yet. So we're not like at that point where I've been listening to Christmas songs so much I'm tired of them. So it was kind of fun hearing the songs again, like, oh, I remember these songs, like this is so fun. And for the kids, a lot of the songs were kind of newer to them because they don't really remember last year. Like it, Christmas is still new to them every year. So they were enjoying listening to it too. Oh. Now it's Porter's turn. I have to run five minute timers all throughout the day because they both want to play with the same toy. So 
so we got a lot of good merch um, from Anthony's work, which was like a nice benefit as well. And I think my sister and her boyfriend enjoyed themselves too. And then we just came home. We didn't end up getting home till like 8.30. The kids went to bed super late, but that's okay. Um, and then Anthony and I just watched the UC football game, which we actually won. We've been doing horrible this season. Um, so we were excited to actually see our team win. That was a plus. And then we went to bed and that was it. That was it for Lights at the Zoo. Hope you enjoyed some of the clips that I took. I didn't take too many. Like I said, we do it every year and it's kind of the same every year. But I just wanted to take you guys along. Um, Avery's getting tired. So I think I'm going to go put her down to bed. And um, we're just going to enjoy the last day of our weekend before... Um, the week starts up. We actually have a really busy week coming up. Lots of stuff with Avery. We've got another helmet appointment. Um, I'm doing an eye appointment for her. You can get like free eye appointments for kids under 12. It's just like a government program. So I've got that coming up and flu shot for Avery. Just a million things. So um, definitely stay tuned. I've got more vlogs coming up. But thank you so much for watching this. Um, how do you guys kick off your Christmas season? I think from now on, it's just going to be Lights at the Zoo is going to be our kickoff, seems like. So I don't know if I'm quite into the Christmas season yet, but last night was a good um, starter. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye, Grayson. Bye. Say bye, Avery. Say bye.